welcome everyone. Let's go ahead and jump into your tarot read and get started. Uh, we're going to start with the tokens with this one. We'll kind of use them instead of the oracle cards and we'll see what comes forward and set the tone for a read and then we'll clarify with our tarot cards. So what message is going to come forward for the collective? What do we got? We have the fool coin. Interesting. We have the hangman and we have death. Hmm. Taking a leap of faith on something, maybe bringing something to an end or looking to start a transition in somebody's life. What is going on here? Okay, tarot deck. This is the one that steps forward right away. It kind of like jumped out to me. So I think it's buzzing and it has a message for the collective. Please clarify these coins. What do these coins mean? What's the message? Whoa, for the collective, my cards are going crazy. The first one that flipped out to and it went sideways. So I'm going to lay it sideways is the four of pentacles, this sort of holding back. Somebody's holding back. These two popped out sideways too. Interesting. The lover's card and 10 of pentacles. 10 of pentacles is like family. It's like legacy. I don't know if somebody's holding back in sort of a relationship in their life. And it might not even be lover romance. It might be a family relationship and holding back. Let's see what else we got. A hermit card, ace of pentacles, four of swords. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I tell you, someone was most definitely holding back. I see someone sort of going into hermit mode. Going into hermit mode to try and heal. Uh, they are actively trying to cut out a negative energy in their life. I don't get a positive vibe off of the Queen of Pentacles. I get somebody who's um, a little bit more sort of towards the karmic side here. Uh, this is somebody who can be jealous. It's somebody who can be envious. Because uh, the person who's sort of doing the cutting off here, the person going into hermit mode, is this Empress energy. So this is somebody who's trying to heal. This is somebody who's looking for personal growth. Um, I think they're taking a really serious look at sort of the energies they allow in their life and sort of who they let into their circle and who they sort of hold farther back. This queen of pentacles is somebody they're wanting to push out of their circle and they're not sure about letting them in. I don't know if this is where our, our hangman, our death card is, if somebody's trying to figure out where to let, whether to let this person back in, whether to give this person another chance. Two of pentacles. <sighs> Interesting. Well, I'll tell you too, like the, the reason they're trying to cut them off to begin with, there has been a lot of sneakiness. There has been a lot of jealousy. I feel like there's been dishonesty too. I get this vibe. I tell you, I get this family vibe off of these two characters, this Empress and this Queen of Pentacles. I get a family vibe off of these two people, but this Queen of Pentacles is so jealous of this Empress, so envious of this Empress. I feel like they've tried to interfere in different areas of this Empress's life, and this might even be in romantic relationships too. And maybe trying to go after whoever the Empress was with at one point in time. Because I feel like there was a line crossed and somebody was like, I don't care if you're family, I don't want you in my life, I don't want you around uh, my, my person, if I have a person, like I don't trust you, you got other shit going on and I don't want this negativity and I don't want this negative force in my life. Interesting, the Knight of Wands. I have the Knight of Cups, I have the Knight of Wands. These offerings, these offerings coming forward. I don't get the nicest vibes off of these cards though. You know, the, the Knight of Cups, it can represent an emotional victory, an emotional offering. The Knight of Wands can sometimes represent moving, moving on, or a communication coming forward. It can represent negative things too. I just get like, um, hollow is the word that I get told. So I don't know if this Queen of Pentacles tries to come back with like apologies or trying to get back into the life of this Empress. Uh... See, I got the Ten of Cups too. It's like I keep feeling family. I keep feeling a family vibe. Like, I don't know if this read is going to resonate with many of you, but I keep getting this, this family vibe. And like this Empress, 
like doesn't care if this like they don't want this to happen to family they don't want to have to separate from family or a family member but if this person is going to choose to be a destructive force in their life they're absolutely not going to allow this person any kind of a foothold any kind of a foothold into their life they're not going to allow this person in they're not going to welcome them in or give them a chance to cause any kind of mayhem mm. the six of swords i see someone separating themselves from a family situation oh that would be why uh, that would be why uh there is another energy involved here so that that lover's card there was something that went on with somebody it, it like a romantic partner for this empress and this queen of pentacles tried to step in this queen of pentacles stuck their nose where they didn't belong this queen of pentacles did try and cause some trouble i have this empress has a family too this isn't just a romantic situation they have like their own little family unit i feel it with this page kind of thing it's like this empress is trying to protect their own little family unit. So they don't want somebody else coming in. They don't want somebody else breaking up that little family unit. Seven of Cups. Who is this King of Pentacles and what's he like? I look at him, I ask that, and I get told to look at the Empress. So he is devoted to his Empress. Okay, he's not looking anywhere else. He's not looking to step outside of that. He's not looking for any kind of like a low vibrational uh, or karmic kind of relationship. He is devoted to the Empress. There is a deep connection there. They have a life together, but this shit makes him uncomfortable too, right? Like whoever this person is, who's trying to be sneaky, who's trying to weasel their way in, who's trying to cause trouble. Uh, he doesn't like it either. He doesn't want any part of this. Hmm, on the high priest. I'm going to grab a few more shadows. <sighs> we got a lot of players here. Two of swords, king of cups, eight of wands. Uh, I don't think this king of pentacles wants this person around. Like they've told the empress, I would, like, if you're going to have them in your life, I'm just not going to be around. I don't want them in the house. Uh, I don't want them to be around when I'm around. If you're going to go visit with them, I can't be around. You got to go somewhere else. Uh, like they, they just, they don't want the negativity. They're wanting to cut it out. And I think this empress doesn't want it either. You know, I think it makes this person sad because like I said, I keep feeling like there's some kind of a family connection there. But this empress doesn't want the BS. Okay. They don't want somebody stepping in and ruining what they have and ruining this life that they're trying to build the high priestess i think they know too that this queen of pentacles is extremely jealous of them i don't think this is like a new thing that's just occurred i think it's been like this for years i keep getting this vibe like it's been like that for years this person's always been jealous of them for whatever reason but it's like now they've taken it kind of too far and i think now is like the time to for somebody to put their foot down that they're not going to allow this to happen anymore the emperor Hmm. It's so weird. It's like this Queen of Pentacles. I keep getting on one hand, I, I get almost like fighting over a romantic partner, but not. And like the only way I know it doesn't make sense. The only way it makes sense to me is there is a deep devotion here. So that relationship, that connection between whoever this King of Pentacles is, because he is like this emperor to this empress, because they have the joining, they have the pair. Between the two of them, they don't want a third party to interfere. They like their relationship the way it is. They're not looking for somebody else to step in, but it's still a battle because somebody is actively trying to step in. So it's like fighting over the emperor, but not fighting over the emperor. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they're not risking losing the emperor, but they're fighting to keep somebody out and somebody from causing trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. It's causing a lot of stress. It's causing a lot, a lot of trouble, especially for this queen, or not queen of pentacles, sorry, for the empress on a lot of different levels. Because it has caused some arguments between her and her person. 
But then it, she's got arguments over here with somebody who should be a supportive member in her life, with somebody who should be, uh, somebody who should be a friend, somebody who should have that loyalty and that honesty with. So she's got a lot of different stresses going on here. Now the strength card tells me she's going to have to stand her ground. She's going to have to protect what she has, especially with that seven of wands. She's going to have to set her boundaries here and protect what she has. If she wants this, you know, some of these stresses to go away, she's going to have to establish those boundaries where this negativity cannot find its way. And I do feel like that's what she's struggling with right now. She's struggling with like kind of how far do I take that? How far do I go with that? Interesting. We had the fool come out a second, second time on the Knight of Swords. A fool can represent a leap of faith. It can represent a new perspective. I feel like she needs to look at it in a different way. Because I do feel like there's part of her that feels like she's she's obligated to this Queen of Pentacles because they have some sort of family tie or this long history tie to keep this person in her life. She's not obligated. She's not obligated to have a destructive force in her life. If somebody's going to be a destructive person, if somebody's going to be jealous, if somebody's going to be nasty and sneaky and kind of act like a karmic, she is not obligated to keep that person in her life and allow that person to cause her trouble. Absolutely not. She is obligated to look after herself and her own best interests and leave her life or lead her life for herself. So if that means she has her own little family unit and she has her own partner and she has her own life that she's building, that is the life that she needs to protect. You know, and not allow these outside forces to step forward. Don't be afraid to fight for this relationship that she has. Don't be afraid to fight for that little, that little life that she is trying to build for herself and that happiness that she's building for herself. Don't be afraid to have to defend it against anybody, whether it's, you know, a stranger, uh, some coworker, a friend or a family member. This relationship, they, I can tell these two people have a love for each other. These people don't want nothing to interfere. These people want to have a life together. This is worth fighting for. This is worth fighting for to not allow anybody else to step in, to block people out, block anybody who's going to be a negative force. Five of Cups, even though it's hurtful, even though it's not ideal, she still needs to protect what she has, the Three of Pentacles. Hmm, that's really interesting too. Uh, if she does this, if she can defend this, if she can block this person out, I keep getting like it gives this person time to think and consider themselves. It's like it might be the catalyst for somebody to be able to change. They're like, well, you know what? I don't want to lose my connection with this empress. I should maybe take a deeper look at myself. Uh, why am I doing this to this empress? I do love this person, but why am I being like this? It might be the catalyst for somebody else to start growing and changing. But at the end of the day, that's not up to the empress either. It's the empress's job to look after herself and her own best interests and to defend her relationship if that's what she's wanting to do. Because she has somebody who's a destructive force here. And it's up to her whether she's going to have long-term success with this emperor or not. And I do feel like the decision that she makes here with whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, is going to play a big part in that. Because if she chooses to keep entertaining that, I do feel like this Queen of Pentacles may over time have a very destructive force in this relationship and might cause a lot bigger trouble than what she's causing right now. Yeah, this Empress needs to step away. That's what all the cards are saying. Don't be afraid to step away. Don't be afraid to set your boundaries. Don't be afraid to look after yourself and to block out negative energies. Don't be afraid. Don't feel guilty about it. You are under no obligation to allow somebody negativity in your life. I know it's hurtful. I know it's something that somebody does not want to do. Because they do have a deep caring for that Queen of Pentacles, whoever that Queen of Pentacles is. That Queen of Pentacles needs to learn a lesson, though, too. It's, it's interesting. I have the Death card, Karma, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, the Moon card. I kept feeling that with some of these other cards. Having them cut out of somebody's life because they're being so negative may be the thing that they need to start thinking. I, even in that Eight of Pentacles, I feel start thinking. Start thinking about their actions. The heartbreak that somebody close to you cut you off and doesn't want nothing to do with you anymore, might be the thing that makes that person start to think about, okay, what am I doing and why am I doing it? I don't want to be cut off from this person who I care about so much. I should maybe start to take a deeper look at my actions. This, is, this might be the thing this person needs. This might be what 
sort of turns the tide for them. It might be the lesson, the opportunity to learn that lesson for somebody to really recognize their crap. Because now I got positive four cards coming forward. I know I had, I had um, that Knight of Cups. I had the Knight of Wands and I got a really hollow sort of feeling off of them. I don't with the Page of Wands, which is interesting. I don't always get a good vibe off of them. I get a turnaround here. I feel a turnaround here like somebody's actually figuring their stuff out. The opportunity will be there. And I think there is a chance that somebody is going to take it. That this Queen of Pentacles is actually going to take it and do a bit of maturing and growing up. I see that here. I see apologies. I see trying to make amends. Trying to make up for what they did in the past. And trying to start fresh and trying to start a new cycle. And a new act, like actually a new cycle. Not a, not a BS new cycle. I think this Queen of Wands, or this Empress, absolutely needs to look after herself. Absolutely. That is the biggest choice that she can make for herself. The most positive choice that she can make for herself is to be able to close her circle in, be able to protect herself from negative energies, be able to focus on the life that she's trying to build. And I keep feeling like it's actually doing a favor to the Queen of Pentacles too. I was going to make that person or give them the opportunity to wake up and figure their shit out because I, I am getting a lot of positively aspected cards about that person learning a lesson and that person actually coming back around with an authentic apology and a wanting to change. As an interesting dynamic here, I'm not sure who this read is going to resonate with, uh, but I hope it gets to where it needs to go because it's nice to be able to have these bonds come back together, even if sometimes they got to come apart for a bit so that people can do some learning. Alrighty, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.